the hair is doing funky things. <laughs> Hello, happy new year, it's 2022, my year. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ashanti. Um, I haven't been on here for a while. So I'm back because I wanted to do a little update on my skin. I was supposed to do this a long time ago, but I honestly don't know what happened. And my face was in pretty bad shape, so I did document my journey and I wanted to come back and share with you guys because I don't have perfect skin. I go through different things and I know that somebody else can relate to it that you don't have to have perfect skin all the time. But there is hope for it to get better. So I'm just gonna share my journey with you. And yeah, I don't have any makeup on right now. You can see we're pretty clear. I'm looking at myself in my monitor because I don't have a viewfinder, so excuse that. But yes, this is my skin today. Um, I do go to a dermatologist now, but I will go through my journey before I started going to my dermatologist. So last time I was on here, I think it was February of last year. Was it February of last year? Girl. I said that I broke out due to some medication and which I did very badly like all of this all of this broke out bad it went from worse to worse sir um, it went from worse to worse sir and I'll include pictures from March is when it really started April May June and July is when I started going to the dermatologist Okay, we're gonna start at March 1st. My skin was good, but I noticed that I started breaking out my forehead and it wasn't one here and then that was it. It was like one one day, one another day, one another day. And I'm just like, yo, <laughs> when are you gonna stop? So now I'm skipping from March to April, April 4th. My pimples are gone, but now I have dark marks, which is really irritating. Whether I pop the pimple or not, it's gonna leave a spot. So I kind of have it in my mind that I'm gonna have to work on that regardless. Then we're gonna skip to April 20th. <laughs> I don't know what, what happened. Honestly, I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on. I think the medication was trying to get out my system, but then I also realized that I was doing too much with my skincare. So if you ever feel like you're doing too much with your skincare, start off simple with a more simple routine. I was toning, I was double cleansing, I had um, the Dr. Dennis Gross pads. What else? I was using two different moisturizers, but what really helped me after I discovered that I need a more simple routine was the Panoxyl 4% wash and I used the Ordinary's Rosehip Oil. Those are the only two things that I've used after um, I started breaking out like crazy. And that, I tell you, that helped me tremendously. I was like, I should have did this months ago because why do I feel like I need to be putting so much stuff on my face to make it better? It's not helping, it's just making it worse. You can see April 20th, how my face looks. Then my spots got darker. May 4th. <laughs> so here you can actually see how me switching to that basic routine had changed my skin and calmed it down a lot before I started my routine once I got my prescription from my dermatologist. I did start going to the dermatologist around July of last year. That was my first appointment um, and she prescribed me Amzeek. Oh, it's not focused. Amzeek and also Epidural Forte. And I only use this about three times a week. Um, she recommended that I still use the Cetaphil face wash and the lotion 
but she told me to stop using the panoxyl and use that on my body since I do suffer from body acne also. And she recommended, well, she prescribed me hydroquinone, which I don't use anymore, but I wasn't using that on my face at all. So now, yeah. From July to now, that's what I've been using and it has helped my skin a lot. I do get breakouts. It's not gonna stop them, but it does help clear my own hyperpigmentation. Steamy. So yeah guys, if you have any comments or concerns, you can always send me a message or comment down below. And of course, I'll put all the products in the description box. Just a quick little update. And thank you for watching.